Shall you be brought to judgment that day? Shall you be brought to judgment that day? That day, that day. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madhi channel In the last episode we mentioned the prevalence of ignorance and corruption We also mentioned that this world our ship is sinking and we are going about our lives ignorant of the signs of the final hour as we know the series that we are talking about is called signs of the final hour so many of us are ignorant of these signs and the implication and we mentioned that this hour is very close but before we go further today's topic will be on social deterioration and it's a serious problem that we are facing but before we continue, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned that whoever recites the Ruda Park 50 times a day, that he, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will shake his hands on the day of Qiyamah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad. A serious problem that we are facing these days is a breakdown in the social fabric of our societies. This collapse is evident in many ways and it's so evident that all of us know about it and are exposed to it. One is the drastic increase in crime throughout the world internationally. Broken families, again an international problem. Increase in divorce, increase in illegitimate births, all these are naturally leading to the destruction of the very institution of the family as we mentioned in previous ep episode that the family unit is the very fabric of society and if the fabric of society is interfered with and destroyed the whole society is destroyed as you know what this leads to with all these social deterioration it leads to stress anxiety unhappiness worry chaos and you find that for many people their lives have turned into a nightmare this is because many people I would say majority of the people in this world are unaware of the real purpose of the creation that is the root cause of the problem. Because of this, many, of, many people are living in a spiritual void. And one of the symptoms of this is an alarming increase in people suffering with depression. And this affects the whole fabric of society, regardless of, of a person's social standing. That means whether the person is not so rich or rich, this depression affects everyone. And you find a large number of people who are affluent in society, that means the rich people, they also have a significant share in this depression. Because if you go and if you are privileged, and which is not, you're supposed to do that, if you go and see the register, of your local psychiatrist, you will see it is full of mostly wealthy people because going to a psychiatrist is not a cheap business, it's expensive. And you find that those who can afford it go and see a psychiatrist 
and pay a large amount of money. But those who cannot afford it, they try and look for a way out from the depression and their way out is not tranquilizers. They get involved in taking alcohol and drugs. It's a cheaper way and it's also very harmful. So as you can see, there is an increase in people going to psychiatrists and psychologists. There is an increase in people taking alcohol and drugs. And all this is because they are lost. And some who think that there is no solution to be found, they reach such a stage in their life that they think there is no use living anymore. And you find many people commit suicide. And this, unfortunately, is also increasing the people and the rate of suicide amongst rich, poor, and any age. You find more and more people are committing suicide because of depression, because of anxiety, because of the stressful lives. Some people commit suicide because they've got stress regarding not being able to meet the ends. Some of them are bankrupt and people are putting pressure on them because of wanting the money. Some because of broken relationship and many things and you find this is common. So all oh, viewers of Madhini Channel, how do we get peace? How do we get content contentment in our lives? Do we get this by following those who are groping in spiritual darkness, living in a, a life of spiritual void? We look at the people who are not Muslims and who are living in this spiritual darkness, spiritual void, void. but we look at the outer appearance, we see them driving fancy cars, driving, wearing expensive clothes, going outside, socializing, drinking and dancing and appearing to be happy. So we think that they are happy and we feel that we are not happy because we are not doing these things. So this is the shaitan's way of making us feel that these people are really enjoying their lives and look what you are doing. So what they do? Many people who are not, even Muslims who are not spiritually inclined, become attracted to that way of life and think this is how we must enjoy our lives. We forget what Allah Azawajal says. Allah Azawajal says, Allah bi zikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. This is in Surah Rad, verse 28. And the translation is, Only in the remembrance of Allah is the solace of heart. And the whole verse, uh, verse 28 in Surah Rad, the 13th Surah, Allah says, This is translated translation from Kanzul Iman, the translation of Allah Hazrat Imam Ahmad Raza radiallahu anhu. And the translation in English is, those who accepted faith and whose heart gained solace from the remembrance of Allah pay heed. Only in the remembrance of Allah is solace of heart. That means you want sukoon, you want peace, you want no anxiety in your life. Almighty Allah, your creator who knows best, tells you, you want peace, remember me. Then we'll turn to Allah Azawajal not to these kuffars. So then, the moral decline that we see is actually the seed of social decline. And this in turn is translated to an alarming increase in illicit activities, that means criminal activities. You find that the level of crime internationally has reached a proportion that is astounding even the experts. And you find that even there was a report, Universal Crime and Justice, prepared by the United Nations, by the International Crime Prevention Center, where they apprised the crime situation throughout the world. And the conclusion was that there is basically increase in the rate of crime. That means year upon year you find an increase that means what it shows, if there increases in crime, it means that the number of criminals in the world are increasing all the time. 
And this is not surprising because it mentioned the Holy Quran where Allah says that this is a translation of Surah Sajda, Surah 41, verse 15 from Kanzul Iman. I would like you to listen carefully to the translation. Allah says, So regarding the Ad, I mean the tribe of Ad, they were haughty in the land without rights and they said, Who is more powerful than us? Did they not realize that Allah who created them is more powerful than them? They used to deny our signs. That is verse 15. In verse 16, we therefore sent a violent sun thunderstorm towards them in the days of misfortune in order to make them taste a disgraceful punishment in the life of this world. And indeed, the punishment of the hereafter is more disgracing and they will not be helped. In the next verse, Allah Azza wa talks, we showed them the right path. So they chose to be blind above being guided. Therefore, the thunderbolt of disgraceful punishment overcame them. This is the reward of their deeds. And then in Surah, in verse 18, Allah Azza wa says, and we rescued those who accepted faith and were pious. And then in verse 19, Allah Azza wa says, and on the day when the enemies of Allah are herded towards the fire, the earlier groups will be restrained till the latter will join them. That means all of them will go into the fire. To the extent, the next verse, verse 20, to the extent when, that when they reach it, the ears and the eyes and the skins will testify against them for what they used to do. So we are the Madni channel. As you can see, these people were very proud and they didn't think that anything would happen to them and they did not obey Allah's signs and Allah Azza wa subjected them to punishment and they are completely annihilated. They don't even exist today. And what Allah says in the last verse, Allah Azza wa says, that means that when they reach the last day, what will be the evidence for them? The ears, the eyes and the skins will testify against them. So there, what this tells you that no matter what you do, if it is something that Allah Azza wa dislikes and you think nobody is watching, even this, Allah said in this verse, even your skin will give evidence against you. So now coming back to the, the social deter deterioration and all the various problems associated with it, this is because of human beings forgetting Allah, forgetting the purpose of the creation, and abandoning religion and abandoning spiritual values. So the aspect of this social deterioration we see happening, which is prevalent today, you will be surprised, was predicted by our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam over 14 centuries ago. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described the end times as, listen carefully, he said, when people will suffer strife and social upheaval. Now what we spoke about is social upheaval, what is happening? That means deterioration of social values and people and the people's lives. And beloved Rasul Sallallahu said that this is also one of the signs of that as the final hour. So it's, it's amongst us and around us. And again, as we mentioned in the previous episodes, what beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam predicted about social upheaval and we see it, we experience it, we feel it, but yet we are not prepared to do anything to correct ourselves, correct our families, correct the people around us. That means we all get absorbed in this upheaval and we enjoy this the social turmoil and we take this as enjoyment. So in the end when we become losers, who are we going to blame? It can be understood from the hadith that the increase in the amount of evil people and the fact that those regarded as trustworthy are the liars and the fact that some who are regarded as liars are actually trustworthy and these are also characteristics of the end times. As you mentioned in the last episode as well, that corrupt people will become will be chosen as leaders. And you find that there is a growth in the number of people who perpetrate evil and this is proven by 
when you read the newspapers and you listen to the news, the widespread crime and evil activity that are taking place. And again, this proves again what our beloved Rasul said at the sign of the end of time. And beloved Rasul has mentioned, I want you all to listen carefully, there will be years of deceit in which a truthful person will be disbelieved and a liar will be believed. The time will be years of confusion. That means people will believe a liar and disbelieve the one who tells the truth. People will distrust the one who is trustworthy and trust the one who is treacherous. And is this not true? Don't you see this happening around us? You, you, you have to be blind not to see this. And the period that's referred to as the end times will be a time of extreme social disintegration. That means the basis of society, that means social moral values, will be undermined. And the hadith of our beloved Rasul say that there will be much to bring to light the collapse or the fabric of societies. And also mentioned that the day of judgment will not come until the lowest people, that means the lowest people are the most evil people, will appear to be the most happiest. That will be the time. That means this hadith reveals that there will be few trustworthy people and you find that most people will be earning money that will not be halal. That means they will be carrying out trade and many people will be traders, but there will not be hardly any trustworthy person amongst them. Truthful testimony, testimony will be neglected and false testimony and slander will be widespread. This is yet another sign. That means people will give you false testimony and their views will be accepted. And verily in the presence of the last hour, and this is also a hadith, false testimony and there will be concealing of evidence. There will also be false accusation of unchastity and slander. And the only measure of people, that means people will be respected depending on how rich they are. That means only the wealthy people will be respected. That means the wealthy person, no matter what he does, his faults will be overlooked because of his wealth. That means wealth will play such an important part. That is why you'll find that many people will desire to be wealthy because there is an inherent aspect of our nature to do things that are evil but we enjoy. And if you see rich people doing this and getting away, this is Shaitan's way saying, telling you, if you become rich as well, you can do all this, enjoy these things and nobody will point a finger at you. So it is an evil cycle that tends you tends to make you forget proper Islamic values and take these values where you, you see apparently people enjoying themselves. And as you mentioned in the last episode, you see people drinking alcohol, taking drugs, dancing, music. It appears to be fun. And that's how shaitan drives you towards that. And you find people, most people have got money because drugs are not cheap. Alcohol are not, is not cheap. They say about fancy clothes is not cheap. These are people who are wealthy. And they are the people that will call a person who is not so wealthy and pay for him and, and, and entice him to come join. So the, what happens is, this poor person, who may have got religious values in him, who may have been pious, but he is so attracted by the lifestyle of this rich friend of his, who is throwing his money and enjoying himself, so he is attracted and suddenly you will find that he, this pious person who is joining this rich person, he is attracted by his wealth, he is attracted by his dressing, he is attracted by his car, he is attracted by his lifestyle. So this poor person becomes so attracted that he starts imitating this person, he starts taking drugs, he starts taking drinking, he starts abandoning his salah. When it's time for salah, the person that wants power spies, wants to go for salah, the friends phone him as they come, I'm going to the movies. He says, okay. So can you see, this is a sign and these things are happening amongst us. Many of you view the Madhi channel, I'm sure you can identify in your own families or someone that you know where the person was pious, mixing up with even Muslim friends 
who are attracted by this evil social life of the West becomes a person who eventually abandons his Salah, abandons his Islamic values. And again, these are the features of the end of time, where you find the sincere love and respect amongst people is also diminishing. So much so that Beloved Rasul has mentioned one of the signs of the end time that a sick person will be lying in the street and no one will want to assist him. Is this not a common sight? How many times do you find a person a victim of crime? He's stabbed and he's on the floor and nobody will go and assist him. People will just look and you find these days people got the video camera, they take the camera, they take video of the person suffering and dying. But nobody will think of even phoning the ambulance or calling a doctor or trying to assist him. When the person is being hit, they all stand far away and start taking video pictures. And then they put it on the social media that that person was attacked. But nobody will have the guts to go and help the person. So what has been predicted is it not happening? Is it something strange that I'm talking about or is it something that is happening currently? So this will show you the stressful position of responsibility. That means you find that the authority, the people who are put into power and authority in the hands of unfit people so that they cannot do anything to help and protect these people who are being oppressed. Another characteristic is disintegration of relationship amongst families between friends and neighbors and you find these days this is so common and one of the biggest problem is in many homes you have this problem where even when people are together in a home people don't communicate everyone is busy on his cell phone chatting to some friend and unfortunately you find that people are not talking to each other yet they're sitting next to each other but won't busy with chatting with somebody and sitting next to even the parents and there was one caption and someone showed this picture of this old lady who was in an old age home and these people who have the celebrate this Mother's Day and the caption was they show a picture of this old lady sitting and all her family members were around her but each person was engrossed with his own cell phone they went to visit this lady and the old age home on a Mother's Day but nobody was talking to her and she was looking at them and all of them had phones. As you can see, what has been predicted is happening. The breakdown of relationship in families. And also you find, because of the failure to communicate, you find that love is diminishing in the family as well. And there is an increase in loneliness. And again, characteristic of the end time. And we know that the day of judgment is approaching. At it's time that we turn to Almighty Allah. But you find that before this happens, there would be turmoil for a person with regard to his family, his property, his self, his children, his neighbors. This is also hadith mentioned by beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Bukhari Sharif as well. Young people become rebe rebellious and you'll find that the relationship with the family will deteriorate. And you'll also find, and this is also happening, that the old people will not have compassion for young, and you find, and the young will show no respect for old. And you find, again this report by Hazrat Umar anhu, and children will become increasingly angry. And you see, when this happened, know that the day of judgment is at hand. Is it not true? Don't you see in many families, children throwing anger and tantrums, becoming angry over little things. So these are what have been predicted and is happening. And again, another characteristic of the end of time was the divorce rate will increase and the number of children born out of marriage will increase. Now viewers of Bandi channel, is this not happening? The high rate of illegitimate children is this not prevalent in our society? Is divorce not common? Abundance of illegitimate children. And due to the influence of materialism, people have become more attached to this world. And many people forget the hereafter. Now this is 
another characteristic of the end of time. People who are becoming mean and greedy because of wanting more of the world, they will multiply. You find that many people, because of the lack of knowledge, may even give up the Islamic values just to enjoy this world a bit more. And the last day is also mentioned that people will curse and abuse each other instead of greeting other with love. Again, you see increase in this and increase in go gossip and mocking people. Today you find people who mock others, even you find people mocking politicians, you got these professional comedians, and they get paid. And people pay to see them mocking and making fun of people who are high up in, 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 the, in the country, like politicians. And then you also find that people who are flatterers, who are insincere, incense, incense they are respected. And the another sign of the end time will be that there will be increase in murders. Is that again, everything I'm talking to you is something that we are seeing every day, increase in murder. Again, another sign of the end time. Deceit and cheating, especially in business. Again, a common thing. Bribes will be termed gifts and will be considered lawful. Now, don't you see this happening? Even people who are supposed to be protecting us, like people in the police force, law, supposed to be law and forces, they themselves accept bribe. So if they, the people who are supposed to be upholding values and they themselves are corrupt, what can you say about the, the, the society? And again, these have been predicted will happen at the end time. And can't you see this? As uh, bribes are taken as gifts. And my dear viewers of Madhi channel, now we have given you some facts and we are almost end of this series, but where most important is we are hearing about the signs. Now, if it hasn't affected us or you as a, as a viewer of Madhi channel, if it hasn't affected you and you are still waiting or procrastinating, now is the time to change. Because as you mentioned in one of the previous episodes, and I'm going to repeat this, we don't have much time left. Our lineage, if not our offsprings or their offsprings, but the offsprings of their offsprings. That means our line. We will be happy to see that our line, that means our offsprings turning to a Dajjal or being lost. Now, if you don't do anything now to correct yourself, because if you don't correct yourself, your children are not going to be reformed. So you have to reform yourself and reform your children, and hopefully if you reform your children, they will end up reforming their children. And when you pass away, how pleased you'll be if you see your whole line going towards righteousness. So my dear viewers of Madhi channel, it's time that we wake up from our senseless sleep, our slumber, and face the reality, and change before it's too late. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad. That day shall you be brought to judgment that day shall you be brought to judgment that day that day that day